Hi there everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make yellow crooked neck squash. It's a really nice way besides just boiling it. So what I do to begin with is I pick out the smaller squash because they're more tender and they seem to have more flavor. I don't know if you've ever grown a garden, um, grown garden vegetables, but I have and, and it, there's been times I've gotten these really large zucchini squash, just over large, and they have no flavor at all. Um, I try to get larger ones when I do stuffed zucchini, but if they're too large, they lose their flavor. And so these little ones are the most tender and they have the most flavor. So I'm gonna show you how to cook these and I hope you enjoy this recipe. This is a very large onion. So I'm not gonna use the whole onion, but I am gonna use the greens that have grown out of it. Still fresh, but it's, it, it's getting towards the tail end of its freshness, so I'm, that's why I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna probably use half of this onion instead of the whole in, onion, because I am gonna use the greens from it as well, and it's a very large onion. So I'm just gonna peel this and chop it up. So I just washed these greens here. So I'm just gonna kind of chop them. And then I'm gonna use half of this huge onion. So. set our onions aside and now we're going to cut up our crooked neck squash and you can kind of cut this however you want but what I do is I cut the ends off and then I cut them lengthwise like this in quarters and then after I cut them in quarters I kind of cut them in like inch size pieces just like this I just find they cook more evenly like that so again lengthwise first and then another lengthwise of the halves and then just like this While you're washing your squash, you want to use a vegetable scrubber to scrub them really, really good to get any residual dirt there might be on these. After we have our onions all ready, we're gonna put like between a tablespoon and a tablespoon and a half of olive oil in a, in a pan that's on low. And then we're gonna add our white onions and green onions or whatever onions you've done. We're gonna add that and we're going to on low, we're going to saute these about two or three minutes till they're softened and translucent, but that's all. While we're sauteing our onions on the stove, we're going to season our squash with salt and pepper. Um, and it's to taste. I'm probably putting about two or three teaspoons of salt on these. And then, um, I don't know, you're just going to put however much pepper you want. And we are gonna put a couple other seasonings on uh, while they're cooking, but I'm only adding the salt and pepper now. So we'll add the other seasonings uh, while these are cooking. So we'll get this all ready because as soon as the onions are translucent, we're gonna remove them. We're gonna put the squash in the pan and we will join the uh, onions back after we've pretty much cooked the squash. 
So our onions are pretty translucent. Now we're just gonna add, after that, we're gonna add our little bit of salt and pepper to the onions because we didn't season the onions. We were waiting till after we kind of saute them lightly and then we're going to uh, remove the onions now and put in the squash. So now we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil since we took the onions out and we're gonna put our squash in. So this should be like a medium low. And now we're gonna keep this on a low temperature where it is right now. It's kind of on a, a low. And we're gonna let this cook down on, on a low temperature. It's gonna be maybe 15, 20 minutes or maybe less, it just depends. But we're gonna cook this and let it um, cook down. You'll want to check these and right now they need to be cooked a little more and the, these have been here probably about eight minutes. So there is a faster way to, to cook these and what you'll do is you'll turn your um, stove down to low from like a two, you'll turn it down to low and then you'll take a lid and put the lid on top and it will steam them quicker. So we in about five minutes they'll be done. So that's what I'm gonna do. You don't have to, but that's the way I'm gonna do it. So it's a little al dente, so it can cook a little more, but at this stage, we're gonna add our onions back and we're gonna add our seasoning. And I am gonna put like a teaspoon of butter, which is optional, you don't have to. If you're watching your fat intake, just leave the olive oil as your oil, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter, not a lot. And then I'm going to add, you can have any kind of herb or seasoning you want. You can put rosemary, you can put um, dill, thyme, whatever you want. I'm putting just a splash of oregano. And like I've said on my other videos, I, I don't use, this is the, the chunky kind, I don't use a lot of oregano because it has a very strong smell and flavor. So I use a little bit because that's a flavor I want to give it. And then I'll put our onions back in and we're going to stir everything together and I'm going to simmer this pry for another five minutes so it is done like it's supposed to be. It's a, a little too al dente. Here's our squash. It turned out really, really nice. First of all, what's really nice about cooking squash this way is you just don't boil it in water. It has a lot more flavor this way where you saute it in a healthy olive oil. You can add a little butter for a little extra flavor and it has the seasonings that you want to put in it and it's real easy to make. And so it's very flavorful and it's a real healthy dish to have. So I'm gonna try it. And if you want to make it softer or more al dente, it's totally up to you. But it's a very flexible recipe because you can add whatever herbs you want. So let's try it. This is slightly al dente. It's not mushy, but some people like it mushy and that's okay. So it's, it's really, really perfect. Some are a little more tender than the others. They're more cooked than the others, but overall it does cook pretty evenly, but sometimes some of the pieces are a little larger as you saw when I chopped them. But if you like squash and you're looking for a new way to cook it, I think you'll really like this. So I hope you enjoy this recipe and I hope it turns out wonderful for you.